I'm Lindsay Tanabi, and I'm a PhD student at KAUST in Saudi Arabia, where I study the nesting ecology of sea turtles. always grown up near the sea and during my childhood in Hawaii there are actually a lot of turtles that bask on the beaches so you could see them even if you weren't swimming which first sparked my interest but I didn't know I wanted to be a marine biologist until after college and it wasn't until things fell into place that I realized that I wanted to study turtles and that was mainly because they were so understudied in this region and I thought that if I could build a knowledge base, then I could help with their conservation and have more of an impact. have a really important role in the food web and if one animal is completely lost it can have a pretty big impact on everything else. Sea turtles, some people consider them a keystone species so if you remove them they will reduce the amount of algae grazing and algae is a really important competitor to coral reefs so if this algae gets out of hand it could actually outcompete the coral and we obviously need coral for a healthy ecosystem and to sustain all the fish and all of the other marine life that lives in these really important ecosystems. So every time the sea turtle goes to the surface and the antenna from the tag goes above the water, it sends a satellite signal to my computer and I can actually see where they are. I checked today and the last ping that was sent out from the tag was today. And interestingly, both sea turtles are almost exactly where I left them. So they have been moving around a little bit, but most of them are staying pretty resident to these foraging sites. Those nostrils are out. I was really lucky to be able to have the first hawksbills tagged in the Red Sea, and we tagged two turtles. One was a, a male, and that was the first male tagged in the Red Sea, and then the other one was a subadult, and those are some really important firsts for this region. And we hope that finding their migration routes or finding out what habitats they're using can kind of give us a little bit of insight on the important areas to protect in the Red Sea.